guys welcome to the channel today i'll be showing you how you intercrop all i am intercropping uh corn and uh, super vines yeah super vine is a type of uh, sweet potato vines that uh, they say that it has a crude protein of 28 so this is a fi my first time of intercropping this so that i can see what will happen so uh, i told you guys i'll be doing things and i'll be telling you if it works if it doesn't work yeah and i'll be doing them practically so today i'm intercropping these uh, super vines with my corn here so the first thing that you need is uh, first of all you have to weed yeah so as you can see i've weeded all the, that area so these <laughs> i don't know i gave out uh, some women to weed for these corn maize but uh, after a week look at what has happened already the weed has started coming out but uh, today i said i'll do it on my own so if you look well uh, on my part that's why i discourage people okay you can't do everything by yourself but whenever you have time please do it for you so that you can uh, know exactly what you look at this there is no weed and there is no possibility of weed in the next two weeks or three weeks yeah because i've weeded it so well yeah but uh, on another case here hey these i have to repeat yeah these i have to, re to repeat and for those who have been following my videos i did a video on how we planted these from scratch so this is a journey so we keep continuing so today I, as i was saying i am intercropping my corn with the uh, super vines these super vines uh, i have not taken to the rub but uh, the sellers those people who sell they say that uh, it has a crude protein of 26 to 28 percent that's very 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 high crude protein yeah and i want to test that so if this works well i'm saying this is my first time to do this i usually i used to intercrop my corn with beans but uh, today i have decided because i want to be further secure i'm going to intercrop with uh, these super vines so this is what i'm doing so after weeding uh there is a gap between the, the the rows of my maize so at the between that is a bigger area these are the space between this and these this is a very very big space so what i'm doing i'm intercropping these and uh if it works well guys i let you know yeah and i'll keep you updating you on the the progress of this yeah because you have so much rad and you want to utilize as much uh, land and soil as possible so this is the one way of you doing that you let your corn grow well and then afterward you uh, you start uh, planting these yeah i've seen some people planting the uh, desmodium but uh, desmodium is good because of uh, nitrogen fixation to the soil but uh, for me uh, i decided to go with uh, a fodder that has more crude protein than uh, desmodium yeah and now this is super vine so one goes for 20 bob yeah is uh, quite an investment as you can see all that yeah one goes for 20 bob yeah it is very expensive but uh, we are up to the task because we want to be the best dairy farmers yeah and uh, i heard that once you start feeding your cow on these uh, you are going to replace by your dairy meal the quantity that you give by half i don't know okay that's what i had so i have not tested it and i have not tried but this one i'm trying right now yeah i'm not sure it to do it because uh i told you guys we have to keep on improvising new things yeah we keep on researching and knowing where we are doing wrong as farmers and where we might uh be good yeah so let me do this for you let me be an earning uh corner for you guys so that i'll be uh, giving you updated details on all these so we have ordinary nipia there it is doing very well very green yeah because we have uh, so much rain yeah here in nyeri and uh these are on ordinary one uh but uh, i'm not planning to approach it very soon because uh last time i checked the crude protein of super napier the silage itself is very low yeah uh i'm i'm doing my own research and investigation on on uh, on that and uh 
let's see let's see what will happen i'll keep giving you the correct information the information that i have uh, done anything that i have done i'll be teaching you on anything that i have i'm familiar with something that i've practiced and is working for my cows and uh, and all that yeah so hope you stick uh, to this channel as we keep uh, sharing more knowledge on uh, dairy farming all things to do with dairy farming nothing else and when we talk about dairy farming we talk about the management of the dairy far the dairy cows uh fodder security like now this is fodder secure you have to plant your own fodder to reduce the cost of purchasing fodder yeah uh if this goes well the the the, the super vines here i'm going to replace my concentrate yeah by a half and that's a good sign that uh, i'm growing i want to keep making profit i want to keep on learning and i want to keep on sharing what i run with you guys practically theory all that yeah so if you, it is your first time seeing with this video please uh, consider subscribing guys let's grow this family so that uh, we share more knowledge on dairy farming on more fodder and uh, i hope you will, you will continue sharing more knowledge yeah so don't just watch my video just give it a like don't skip ads guys don't skip ads let me get a retro revenue from those ads and uh we will go far yeah trust me we will go far as dairy farmers we will go far so i've not yet done on the other part far there but uh, on the other part i've done and they are growing so well yeah they are making up they are growing so well and uh, i'm loving this so guys uh that's all for today the intercropping of that you can use uh desmodium you can use super vines but make sure you do a good work yeah this is a small scale uh this small scale so it is not where the tractor will come in chopping for silage you know uh, i'll be doing it manually so that's why i have planted these and uh, this mostly is dedicated or directed to the small scale farmers yeah so you too can do it it is doable as i keep on saying you start small and with time you are the, you keep on seeing results yeah like now we planted these you see the results we have started seeing good result as you can see there it is very good result yeah so today we have planted these and with time we'll go, go we get a good result so uh thank you for your time uh, i hope i've not wasted your battles and uh let's keep educating each other one way or the other so that we can make this dairy farming a good venture so have a wonderful time and thank you for tuning in to my channel